On top of this, suspending a young child from this behavior is developmentally inappropriate and especially harmful. In 2015, more than 36,000 children across Ohio were suspended for three days or more. That number doesn't include all of the preschool students who are suspended every day across Ohio. I frequently, when I'm speaking, will ask the audience if they have any idea of how many children are suspended every year. And I usually get a response, oh, 200, 500, 1,000. And this is talking to audiences such as the one I spoke to this morning, the Ohio State uh, School Board Association. I asked them that question. The highest estimate anyone in the room made was 5,000. But we are looking at 36,000. The similarity between the students who create the persistent achievement gap, minority disadvantaged children with disabilities, and those who are most heavily impacted by exclusionary disciplinary policies is not coincidental. Over 90% of those children are, who are suspended are economically disadvantaged. 65% of them are African American boys. In fact, research is pretty clear that one of the factors contributing to the achievement gap is the considerable amount of time that struggling students spend out of the classroom. Already academically behind, suspensions only push them further and further behind and leave them feeling unwelcomed in the classroom. 